So when we look at these two games, guys, question is going to be asked again, who needs this game more? The Cincinnati Bengals or the Kansas City Chiefs? Oh, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Me as a Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs fan, I'm going to put that disclaimer out there right now. Yes, I want my Kansas City Chiefs to win this game. Yes, I want them to beat the living crap out of the Cincinnati Bengals. I want them to put 80 points on those mofos. I don't even want them to let them score 20. 80 0, baby. Blow them out. But when we look at the Kansas City Chiefs in this game versus the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals, they need to figure themselves out. Ever since the loss to the Denver Broncos, what, Thanksgiving weekend, right? The Kansas City Chiefs look like a fish out of water. They're flapping around and they find a little bit of puddle. They get a little bit of satisfied. The sun comes out and that puddle starts to dry. And they start flapping around it, around again. They are a chicken with their head cut off right now. Their quarterback is blowing up. Their leader tied in, Travis Kelsey, is blowing up. It just so, something in Kansas City is not right. We talked about it. Is it Eric, Eric, Eric Bienemy? Was it a good cop, bad cop type of thing with Andy Reid? There's no bad cop anymore. Everybody's like, oh, it's okay, guys. It's okay. But the Kansas City Chiefs need a get right game. They not only need to execute on the defensive side of the, of the ball, they don't need to execute, not, not only execute on the special team side of the ball. They need to execute on the offensive side of the ball, and they need to dominate. They need to dominate this game. These next two games against the Chiefs need to just dominate and flex on the NFL, saying, hey, we are still them. With that being said, they need to get their swag back. What made Kansas City Chiefs so tough to, to defend? You never knew where it was going to come from. Was it going to be Juju? Was it going to be MVS? Was it going to be Josh Gordon? Was it going to be Sky Moore? CEH, Isaiah, right? We never knew where it was going to come from. Patrick, Pat, Pat, Patrick Mahomes had a certain swag about him. Like the no look passes, the, the like this, like the sidearm, the jump and throwing it 80 yards down, 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 down the field. They need that swag back. Also, when you look at the Kansas City Chiefs moving forward. When they win this game, they are going to be locked into the two to into the third seed, and they're going to be playing the Bills or the Browns in the first round of the of the of the playoffs. They need this get right game. Flash over to the Cincinnati Bengals side. Cincinnati Bengals has been dealing with injuries, much like most of the AFC. I feel like if you do not have an injury in on the AFC side of the thing, on offensive side, you better be checked for steroids because something's wrong, right? Everybody, it seems like, has like lost their guy, right? Joe Burrow went out week 10. We sat here on the show. They're done, right? We said they're done. I said they're done. Hoffy said they're done. Insert Jake Jake Browning. If the Cincinnati Bengals win this game over the Kansas City Chiefs and they make a playoff push, 57% chance to make the playoffs if they win this game, then, then they would just need a loss from the Bills, Colts, or Steelers at that particular point to, to get in. Or all three of those, one loss each. Think about this. The Cincinnati Bengals can make the playoffs without Joe Burrow. Wrap your heads around that, guys. We said they were done. We actually have a clip right there on Facebook that is people are pissed off about that. Say, hey, is Joe Burrow over overrated? If the Cincinnati Bengals, right, let's let's look at their schedule, right? They were speaking of flapping fishes, right? They were 3-3 three and three going into the bye week with Joe Burrow. 
then they started to get right, right? They beat the 49ers, they beat the Bills, then they lost to the Houston Texans, and they lost to the Ravens. Joe Burrow goes, goes out, right? Then they lose to the Steelers, beat the Jaguars, beat the Colts, beat the Vikings, and lose to the Steelers again, right? The question is, is not that Joe Burrow's over, overrated, but is Jake Browning a better fit for the Cincinnati Bengals? So we got to ask the question, what if Jake Browning leads the Cincinnati Bengals to the playoffs without Joe Burrow, without Jamar Chase that is going to be out again, it looks like, with his shoulder, right? Two weeks in a row. And they make the playoffs. Playoffs? Yeah, playoffs. So we got to ask the question, who needs this game more? I think the answer is simple. I think the answer is simple. I think the Kansas City Chiefs need this game more. They need this game more because they need two flex games on the NFL. They need two games where they absolutely dominate the, the opponent from the kickoff to the final whistle. The Bengals pretty much are playing with house money at this particular point, right? House money. They were not expected to do anything without Joe Burrow. Nothing. Nothing. 